Have you ever heard a bird song and wondered what the bird was? Since I've started birding, I've struggled with learning bird songs, though over the last two years I've worked really hard at learning all the bird songs I possibly can for my region. But even so, sometimes I'll come across a song that I've just never heard before and I have no idea how to figure out what bird it is. Well, yesterday there was this exciting announcement from the Merlin app that they've now added sound identification to the app. And I don't know if you've heard of the Merlin app. It's from the Cornell University Ornithology Lab. It's a free app and it covers the entire world. So it doesn't matter if you're in North America, South America, Africa, Asia. They have what they call bird packs, uh, which will you can install to in identify the birds in your area. Now I've been using this app for a while, but it was just visual. You would go through a series of prompts and Merlin would try to help you figure out what bird you were looking at. But now they have just announced that they have sound identification. So let's see if I can show you how this works. If this is your first time using Merlin, just make sure that you download the bird pack for your area. And you do that through this little hamburger up at the top and down here at the bottom where it says bird packs. And then you can see their bird packs for all over the world. And you just want to download the one for your region so that uh, Merlin knows what area you're in. So this is the Merlin app when you first open it. You can see the first green button that says start bird ID. That's if you want to do a visual ID. The next one down is photo ID. So if you actually take a photo of the bird, you can use that to identify it. Then there's the new option, sound ID. So let's click on that one. Okay, so this is the opening to the sound ID. And it's so simple. See that big green button with the microphone? You just click on that and it will start recording. And then down below you can see it says my sound recordings and supported birds. I don't actually know what supported birds is, but it's probably a birds, a list of the birds that they have um, sounds for. So let's click on the button. And now the app is listening for birds. And when it finds a bird, the bird pops up on the screen. Now the only challenge is when you have a really loud bird, like the great cat bird, it tends to drown out the sound of some of the other birds. So you, if you have a really loud bird, you might not want to, um, you may want to find a, an area away from that bird if you're trying to pick up the, the quieter birds. So, so far we've got a blue jay and a catbird. There's definitely other birds here, but I think the app is just struggling a little bit to hear them because the catbird's so loud. You see how it lights up when the bird is singing? When it hears the bird singing, it lights up the name in yellow. Once you have the list of birds and you stop the recording, it then allows you to play it back. So if I hit play, it'll play the songs back. And then it shows me the birds that I saw. Let me see if I get a little closer here. And then you can click on the bird and then it'll not only play the bird call that you recorded, but it'll give you calls that are found on eBird in the uh, Macaulay Library. So you can um, compare your call to the ones already in the library. And after you've finished recording and you have a couple recordings already in your phone, you can click the My Sound Recordings and you can see all of your recordings listed there. You can go back and see what you heard pretty cool. So let's click on supported birds and see what that's all about. 
I have installed in my Merlin app the bird pack for the northeastern United States. And so when I click on sound ID bird list, it shows me 458 birds that are available to identify from the sound app. That's pretty good. Some of these don't even look like they'd be in my area, like a Mexican whippoorwill. So I'm not really clear from this list if that's just the uh, entire sound ID bird list or just for my northeastern United States. I think you should give it a try. Check out the Merlin app in either the Google Play Store or the iPhone store and see what kind of results you get and then put it in the comments. I'm really curious to hear about what birds that you can identify from their bird songs. Bye everybody.